Yo, what up, YouTube? Black Ops 6 is finally here. As you guys know, today was COD Next, and we got multiplayer, zombies, and Warzone gameplay. We're gonna dive right into it, man. We got a full video for you guys today, all commentary. I'm gonna have some Black Ops 6 gameplay going on in the background. This gameplay was from FaZe Swag. I'll link his original video down in the description, so make sure to go check it out for yourself. Now, we're gonna be talking about everything in this video, man, from Omni Movement to zombies to the Warzone integration and even Verdansk returning in 2025. Now, Please make sure to leave your input in the comment section down below. I want to know what you guys think of Black Ops 6. Do you guys think it's going to be a W or no? As always, please make sure to smash that thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you guys have not already. We're going to be coming out with a ton of Black Ops 6 gameplay, especially this Friday with the beta. I will be streaming the beta over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash triumph eternal. So if you guys are not already following me over there, please make sure to go over and drop a follow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now let's get right into the commentary. So man, this is Face Swag playing at Con Next. This is the the brand new Black Ops 6 multiplayer gameplay. Now, like I said in the intro of this video, I really want to know what you guys think of the new movement system. Now, as you guys have heard, we have a brand new movement system in the game. It's going to be integrated into Warzone, probably not right away, but probably in the coming months after the game releases. It's called Omni Movement. And if you guys don't know what that is, it pretty much means that you can sprint, dive, slide, jump, whatever, in any direction. So Swag will probably showcase a little bit here. He just did there, right there. All right, he sprinted backwards. Um, you're able to slide like to the left at an angle. Um, you're also able to dive and aim and shoot during the animation, which is actually massive because I feel like in the current movement system, we really don't have the flexibility to shoot while we're diving. Um, but overall, man, this is the multiplayer gameplay that we have here. And first thing I noticed is that it's a lot like Cold War. Um, the gunplay looks a lot like Cold War. Even the movement, the way that everything is kind of designed, it looks very much so like Cold War. Now, did you guys enjoy Call of Duty Cold War? If you did, then you guys are probably going to love this game. Now, I got to be honest, man. The Modern Warfare games it, that we've gotten in the past couple of years, it has such a similar feel with how movement and gunplay works. I'm actually kind of excited for a little bit of a switch up because I feel like Cold War and Treyarch games have a very unique feel when it comes to gunplay and movement. I feel like we're going to get a little bit more of an arcade type feeling uh, with playing Cold War. Now, a lot of nostalgia coming back with the multiplayer. We have classic prestige systems, which basically means uh, that the same prestige system we had back in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, a lot of the old Call of Duties is coming back. So we're going to be able to level up uh, to level 55 prestige, and then we're going to be able to unlock all of those again, get even more rewards, climb our, our way up the ranks to uh, master prestige, and then they have up to level 1,000. So it's just like Black Ops 3 in that regard, which is so sick. Also bringing back a lot of the classic kill streaks, we have the RCXD classic, and a lot of the classic maps as well. We have Nuketown, but it's a little different style for Nuketown. It's actually like an under... Uh, it, it's all covered with sand and it's like underground, uh, which is kind of an interesting take I, I don't know if there's a whole lot of gameplay out there on there yet But you can definitely check it out uh, Online and there's tons of clips on Twitter you guys can check out as well But I will say this too man the TTK seems to be a little bit quicker um, I think the developers did say that the TTK is definitely a little bit quicker in this game than it was in Cold War uh, To kind of adapt and provide a little bit more flexibility with the Omni movement, which I like and it seems like, you know, Swag and a lot of these pros, man, they're cooking with the Omni movement. I'm excited to jump in and try this. Now, I did see a little bit of this in Warzone. Now, we're going to showcase a little bit of Warzone gameplay here as well. Um, because Swag and a lot of the pros, they played Zombies, they played Multiplayer, and they played Warzone. So, I'm going to show a couple clips from Zombies and then a couple clips from Warzone. We're going to talk about each of them. And, uh, and yeah, guys, I, like I said, I want to know all your thoughts in the comment section below. But for the most part, this is everything from multiplayer. Uh, also, with the gunsmith system, the more that you unlock attachments, you will have those attachments for any gun that you unlock. So as soon as you unlock, say, the AK after you've been using the XM4, if you unlock a red dot for the XM4, you will then be able to just have that red dot available for the AK right away. You won't even have to level the AK. Like, base AK, you'll have that attachment, which is going to be massive because I hate, hate using a gun that has no attachments, like, off the rip. Like, I just leveled something, and now I gotta go back to using a gun with no attachments. I hate that. It's just a pain. But again, a lot of this is going into just having fun with the leveling system uh, and everything like that. Also, I noticed that stims and lethals are uh, kind of more so resemble how lethals and tacticals work in Warzone 1, where stims are used a lot quicker 
and they uh, seem to be a lot more effective too. Like they heal you so much quicker than say how you use a stim right now in Warzone. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the biggest updates from multiplayer, man. This is again been super super cool to watch. Just all the multiplayer gameplay has just been incredible. And as you can see, there's different field upgrades. We also have uh, perk systems are back, but I think it works a little bit differently. We have uh, three perks. Um, well, it's not super different from other multiplayer uh, experiences that we've gotten in the past, but for Warzone specifically, and we'll get there uh, later in the video, uh, it's more of a three perk system as opposed to a four perk system, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, and yeah, man, a lot of the guns and stuff that you're seeing here, again, are repeats or reskins of existing guns that we've seen in the previous games, but nonetheless, they are just as effective. It seems like a lot of fun. The one thing I will say is that I'm noticing a lot of weapon bob don't like it do not like it i'm telling you man i really appreciate the experience that was given to us uh during the mw 2019 and warzone 1 era where we had virtually no weapon bob that was probably the cleanest and most fluid movement and engine i think that they have used um now given its treyarch it's a little bit different of experience which is totally cool uh, but I will say, man, I really did enjoy that that kind of just smooth movement. Um, but I'm hoping that they don't add as much weapon bomb. I'm hoping that it will be a little bit smoother. Hopefully they kind of iron out those details. Because especially if you're a mouse and keyboard player, man, it's going to be really hard to keep your aim straight, right, with all of that weapon bob. Um, so hopefully they fix that and it's not... Uh, you know, a huge issue at launch. Another thing I will say, man, is a lot of these maps uh, that we're seeing, there's going to be 16 brand new maps at launch for Black Ops 6, and they seem to be all three lanes, which is really interesting. They're going back to the three lane, fast paced gameplay style that we all come to know and love in Call of Duty. And I think it's awesome, man. I love the, the fast paced, small map, three lanes. Um, as you can see, Swag's just jumping right back into the action after respawning in, and He's able to get a kill within literally 10 seconds, which is something that I love. I love the fast pace, which is which is fantastic. While at the same time, man, a lot of these lanes open up for you to get a little bit more uh, of an advantage towards the sniping and long range uh, meta guns. So if you're a sniper, they definitely have some areas like this one here where you can snipe and still get those long shot kills uh, for different challenges and everything like that. So... Uh, again, let me know what you guys think of the multiplayer experience for Black Ops 6. I think it's looking pretty solid so far. Again, there's always room for improvement, but every single year uh, we pretty much get almost the same thing. But this year is a brand new innovative way to move around, which is Omni Movement. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out. All right, guys, now jumping into the Zombies experience here in Black Ops 6. We're looking at the brand new map. It is called Liberty Falls. Now, this goes back to, I think, kind of a Nuketown-ish era where it's got a lot of different nostalgia kind of built into this map. But this is one of the maps that was showcased at COD Next. Here we have Mr. Dalek JD and Noah J reacting. Again, I'll have this video in the comment section down below so you guys can reference and go back and watch it for yourself. But overall, we still have the classic weapon system where you basically go into zombies with a custom loadout, which I think is pretty cool. It goes right in line with how it was in Cold War. You also have various other things that are brought back. You have Pack-A-Punch. You have multiple Pack-A-Punch upgrades with certain things and attributes that are added to your gun every single time you upgrade and Pack-A-Punch. Uh, so, for example, we have the equivalent of like Deadwire, Turn from Black Ops 3. A lot of these different upgrades can be used on your weapons, which, again, I love Pack-A-Punch. I love zombies. I'm a big time zombies fan. I know a lot of you guys are as well. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, man, what your favorite zombies map is, because I definitely think that Treyarch could cook with zombies this year for sure. Now, a lot of the other things that they're bringing back to zombies, man, is they have this, the crafting table. You're able to craft things like self reses, chopper gunners, uh, missiles. Again, this is something that they brought back from the Cold War zombies era. And I guarantee you, man, there's going to be tons of Easter eggs to go and explore and find out how to actually do it. I know a lot of you guys are probably really into that. I really haven't been a whole lot in the past, but I know that a lot of people have so much fun looking for Easter eggs and trying to unlock kind of the story that's built into zombies. A lot of other features they're bringing back, gobble gums are back as well. Um, if you've ever played Black Ops 3 zombies or you're a big Black Ops 3 fan, uh, you know that gobble gums was a huge 
huge part that was integrated into Black Ops 3 Zombies. This allowed you to basically go buy a gobble gum, pop the gobble gums to then have a specific ability so you could get everything from having a double points, a free max ammo, a free pack a punch gun. You could get a certain gobble gum that would give you every single perk in the game. And that leads us right into the next topic, which is perks. Now, I, as of right now, I understand that a lot of the OG perks that we've seen in the old Call of Duty Zombies experiences are back, and that includes Juggernaut, Speed, Cola, Quick Revive, PhD Flopper is in the game. And even just seeing a lot of these different perks being showcased at COD Next, I can definitely tell you that they've been refined and it seems to be like we're in for a really, really fun year for sure. So uh, again, we have a lot of different things to cover for zombies. There's going to be a whole lot more uh, developments coming out. We have Wonder Weapons, the Ray Gun is back, the Jet gun is back that was in town from black ops 2 so wonder weapons are returning i we, we have the wonder waffle returning as well so a lot of nostalgia that's being brought back and not only the perks the guns but also the storyline we have some og characters being being brought back as well such as rick Toffin. um i know that they're kind of following some of those og and nostalgic themes that we've had growing up playing zombies our entire life which is fantastic and one of the biggest changes that i will say they brought back into this iteration of zombies is round based zombies which is absolutely massive i know in a lot of the previous zombies experiences we have not had round based round based being that you basically start in on round one and every single time you kill all the zombies in that round the round resets to a higher round and you can then progress and we have a ton of people out there in the space right now that are going for the highest round possible level around 100 round 200 crazy records are going to be broken man i'm going to tell you man the round based zombies being back is absolutely massive i think it's going to be so much more fun and it's it actually gets you to work towards a common goal which i think is pretty cool uh and so again man i think zombies is going to be huge this year i'm really excited to dive into it um if you guys do want to see some zombies content on the channel when this game drops let me know I'm definitely not opposed to jumping in and either doing some tutorial type content, some high round based content as well, um, or just anything else that you guys may enjoy. And so with that, we covered multiplayer, we covered zombies. Now let's go and cover some Warzone. Now we're hopping on into the Warzone experience here in Black Ops 6. Again, this is coming directly from Faye Swag's live stream at Cod Next. So if you guys haven't checked it out already, it will be linked in the comment section down below. So go check it out. You can watch the full game and any other clips that are associated with Warzone. But pretty much we have a brand new map here it's called area 99 now this does resemble a little bit more of a blackout type of map and that's what a lot of people were saying that it reminds them a lot of blackout but we have the loot system back man which the guns actually have an outline as you just saw there when swag went to pick up that gun it had an orange outline this again just depicts the weapon's rarity so this is important so if you see a orange or gold outline to a gun you know that that is a higher rarity than say a green outline uh, we also have swag here jumping right into the action a lot of the buildings and the architecture of these buildings in warzone resemble a little bit of some warzone one I i'm kind of getting from it as they're a little bit more linear they're not as broken up as say the current warzone experience one of the things i will mention as well is the movement in this warzone iteration as opposed to the omni movement i'm seeing in multiplayer it's a little bit slower and i'm not entirely sure why that is maybe it's just an optical illusion but it looks as though the movement is a little bit slower in warzone than in multiplayer hopefully they fix that hopefully it's a little bit more fluid you're able to jump and shoot faster uh there's not that sluggish slow feeling now it actually was just announced today that you can put on a specific perk in warzone that allows you to have unlimited tax print for any gun that you hold which is absolutely massive now this could be used to just completely change the game especially for you movement players out there if you utilize movement in a war zone setting like i do that's going to be massive because you know that unlimited tax sprint allows you to chain together a lot of movement mechanics that allow you to get the upper hand on your opponents so this is going to be huge uh, and also, this is the Resurgence map that's going to be dropping shortly after the launch of Black Ops 6. We will not get a new big map until the spring of 2025, and that big map is Verdansk. It was announced that Verdansk is dropping today, which is super cool. Excited to see that back. But again, man, I want Warzone to be fast-paced. Uh, very engaged, very uh, fluid. I don't want any chunky movement. And as you can see, we do have some big changes here, man. As you just saw, we don't really have that floating loot system. It's more so just kind of all together. That might be a change that's reverted. You also have the ability to get your loadouts. So loadout is back. You can also go to the buy station and buy your primary guns, which is also back. 
And something else that was completely redacted from this iteration of Warzone is the backpack system. So now you can't stack five precisions, five self reses. You can't do these things anymore. So backpack is out. We're back to the simplistic backpack configuration that we had from Warzone 1, which honestly, in my opinion, that's a W. I'd rather have that than have to go through and, and scroll through for my gas mask. Now it's just immediately in a spot and they have certain vests that are now on the ground that increase your ability to hold more plates and more ammo. Uh, and so again, just small changes here. Hopefully it's an improvement for quality of life, but again, we'll, we will, the only way we will really know is when we're actually in there playing. And so again, let me know what you guys think of this gameplay. What do you guys think of just overall Warzone in the direction that it's heading? Is this something that you think is going to last longer and have more of a lasting impact than, say, Warzone currently now under Modern Warfare 3? Um, I, I did see some gameplay as well with long-range weapons, as we're seeing here, Swag's using an AR uh, and an SMG. We have some close-range fights, we have some long-range fights. I have also seen some sniper gameplay, uh, and the snipers feel, or they look somewhat smooth, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, again, we're just going to have to find out once we're in-game and we actually try them out. Uh, but I'm really hoping that sniping can be utilized in Warzone and it's not, you know, clunky or uh, there's not a whole lot of weapon bob. Again, I think a lot of those quality of life improvements that we've been talking about over the last couple years, servers can't be laggy on day one, right? Like we, we can't be rubber banding every two seconds, right? We have to have low latency. So that's a server issue. We can't have cheaters. Please, please do not let me run into a cheater within the first two weeks of, of Black Ops 6 dropping. It just can't happen. It just cannot happen. And then also just a bunch of other quality of life improvements that I think can be made, um, which I think are already being made in the current war zone with the gas mask animation being completely taken out, which is fantastic, uh, and different things like that. So overall, I'm really thinking that this could be a really fun experience with Warzone. I think the top things that need to happen is there has to be smooth and fluid movement, right? There can't be any delay. I think unlimited tax print is going to play a huge part in that. I think, again, we need to have those custom loadouts come back so that way we can have the flexibility to use the guns that we've ranked up in our Warzone fights, which I think is, again, is such a W. I don't know why they got rid of that in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Made no sense. And then also, man, obviously, they got to fix the cheating issue. And overall, they just got to make it so that it's fast paced, it's engaging and there's nothing that's absolutely broken on day one now will those things happen i don't know but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about warzone again we covered multiple things in the video today we covered the multiplayer we covered the zombies and we covered warzone if there's any other questions that you guys have that maybe i didn't cover in the video uh that maybe you didn't see on twitter make sure to drop in the comment section down below i'll try to reply to all of your questions and that's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, every video that we watched today will be linked in the comments down below. So make sure to go check it out. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on Friday. I'll be streaming the Black Ops 6 beta. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.